Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your March monthly forecast. The month begins with both Mercury and the Sun in the part of your horoscope that's to do with pleasures, and you could enter this month in good spirits. But on the second, Mercury does move into an area which is much more to do with concentration on the details. And that is going to be something that's going to be important this month, particularly through to the 24th. But what happens on the 5th is perhaps the most exciting piece of news. Because Venus, the planet of love, moves into your opposite sign of Taurus. And this can invoke a fantastic improvement in harmony in all sorts of relationships this month if you want to use its energies to its fullest effect. Now the other brilliant thing that's happening all of March is that Jupiter, which is already in your sector of relating, is forging an awesome link with Pluto, your co-ruler. Now I said to you at the turn of the year, if you could really trust the impact that Jupiter going forwards, as it did just before the end of 2011, and through till uh, the early summer of this year, this can give you an opportunity to reshape your whole outlook around relationships. Rather than being sceptical, and even at times almost paranoid about what other people think about you, this is encouraging you to have more confidence, to reach out and trust that things can be better between you and others. And this link between Pluto and Jupiter this month suggests that one particular relationship can absolutely transform your whole landscape. It's that exciting. And with Venus and Jupiter joining together, if you are single, the chances of someone coming into your world, if that's what you want, are enormously improved by their cooperation. Now, obviously you can't be passive, and the more you reach out, the better the chances are you're going to have. And both these also forge a great link with your other co-ruler of Mars. So do go for it from the 5th through to the 17th. That's a key period for you. However, from the 12th through to the 23rd, Mercury does start to go backwards. And professionally, you're going to continue to have to be very sharp-eyed. Someone could be around you as a bit of a nitpicker, someone who takes great pleasure in picking up tiny faults, but they may not tell you, but they might tell other people. So be wary of someone who's a bit of a job's worth like this. And anything that you can affect and make sure runs smoothly, well, the more attention to detail you show, the better it's going to be. However, from the 24th onwards, Mercury then spins backwards into the part of your scope to do with fun, creativity, and self-expression. And an idea that perhaps you had thought about but haven't run with could come back into focus. And you may realize that in a reshaped way, this can still go forwards very positively. The only niggle, really, for the end of this month occurs when Mars does go face to face with Neptune. You may encounter somebody, a friend, it could be a love opportunity, where it's difficult to get to the bottom of what the truth is. Now, I've been telling you about showing more confidence and faith in person kind. It could be tested about then, but that doesn't mean to say that if you do have a disappointment that you should in turn think that that's the way it is in general for you because this is a month which could be truly sensational for relationships as a whole. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.